And uh, I want to chat with you a little bit about real estate in general, because we've been talking a lot about the market shifting. Right. What do you help us understand maybe what you see as far as a market shift? Uh, over the last 90 days, it's been a tremendous shift from a real balanced market where neither the buyer or the seller had an advantage like it's been over the last year to a seller's market, very strong seller's market in most parts of King and Snohomish County. And so what does that mean exactly? Well, there's just been a – because there's such a tremendous amount of pent-up uh, demand for housing, it seems like, that there's a whole lot of buyers, low in, low interest rates, and uh, those buyers are really seeing a lot of opportunity right now. That's actually driving inventory down uh, as far as the amount of houses on the market goes. So when when you start – you talk about pent-up demand, right? And, you know, we had um, – we had a lot of people at some point in time back, uh, I don't know, maybe it was right before the first time home, right when that first time home buyer credit was out. And it kind of sucked up the demand. It had everybody purchasing homes before, I guess it was April 31st of a few years ago. And then all of a sudden, I mean, that really created this kind of dead spot over the last two years. At least I think that that contributed to it. Now it seems like over the last two years, all of those people who would have bought but didn't because they were missing out on the big tax credit are kind of coming back into the market. Yeah, that's right. They're kind of, they're coming back into the market. I think people also just kind of hung out to see what the economy was going to do. And we're starting to see a little bit more signs, put more positive signs on a national level, certainly a lot more positive signs here on the regional level with all the big companies moving into, into downtown Seattle, into the Fremont area. Um, and uh, people are seeing some opportunity there now with the, uh, with the interest rates as low as they are. And, and uh, prices have come down a lot. And now we just need houses to be for sale, right? Now we need we houses. More signs to be for in sale. the ground. Yeah, yeah. Right now, uh, I did some research before we got on the show here, and down in King County, or in King County, and in Snohomish County, uh, inventory is, or in other words, the amount of houses that are on the market is down 42 percent in King County right now, 35 percent in Snohomish County, and that coupled with the amount that there's more buyers in there has really shrunk the market up, really made it competitive. So let's talk about both sides of the coin then, because with any real estate transaction. As most people know, you're going to probably have a buyer and a seller. And when you don't have a lot of inventory and you have a lot of buyers and you don't have a lot of houses for sale, right, you end up with problems, especially when you're trying to buy a house. Lots of competition. What do you advise your buyers right now to help them maybe capture the home of their dreams? With both with, with buyers, I get well, with both sides, you, you just make sure that everybody's got their ducks in a row before they even get started in the process. So... With buyers, one of the big first steps is to certainly get pre-approved. Visit a, a good, reputable lender, somebody that's possibly referred to you by either your real estate agent or some of your friends. Make sure that you've done all your homework. You know what kind of financing you're getting, how much of a down payment you're getting. All of that is completely done. That's that's one of the first steps. It's kind of like just knowing your numbers up front, isn't it? Knowing your numbers up front. you got to know, and a seller's going to be incredibly interested in how, what kind of financing you have, what you're qualified for, how much you're. Uh, I bet for. they're yeah, interested absolutely. in how much you're qualified for. <laughs> Figure out how much more they can get out of you, right? <laughs> yeah, there you go, right? <laughs> so, um, you know, and, and one way to, uh, to actually avoid that is you can get a pre-approval letter for the house, not necessarily the dollar amount. That's right. For, your, your lender would be able to tell you the most you'll be a pre-approved for, but at the same time be able to might not, that Might not want to let the seller know, by hour. the way, we got at least 100000 in wiggle room on this place. Uh, just let me know what you want. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> um, put, their, put their kids through school. Um, so <laughs> let's say when you're pre-approved and you know your numbers, it also allows people to have a little bit more confidence, I think, which really gives them the opportunity to maybe move faster. And that seems to be important in these, in this market. Right now, the good quality properties, especially under like a $500,000 level, the good quality properties gone within 48 hours. Those are the sort of things as a buyer, you got to be moving real fast. You got to have an agent that really knows the market is on top of the market every single day to be able to move real quick when a, when a property comes on the market. Yeah. And, and by real quick, I mean, 48 hours or less? 48 hours or less often. I mean, it's, you know, if a property is not gone in a week in that price range right now, it's probably overpriced. I mean, there's, 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 uh, there's, because there's so much competition, so many people out there right now. So now's not the time to be lowballing any offers, especially a new, a new, or any houses, any new houses that come on the market. Just too much competition out there to really, uh, to really try to do what we tried to do a year and a half ago. You know, so. we, we talk on, on this show a lot about that. When you're out talking to, to clients or people who are looking to buy houses, do they is, is it starting to trend mentally for buyers that, hey, this actually isn't as easy as it would have been six months ago or a year ago? I mean, are, they, are, are buyers starting to understand that? I think in general, 
people are starting to understand that. The media is starting to get on board. We're seeing some good articles come out in the in the local newspapers and radio shows talking about how the market seems to be picking up. Um, like this one, of course. Like this one, of course. Yeah, absolutely. This has been touting it for a long time now. Yeah, since February 15th, we decided that was the date. Yeah. All of a sudden, it was like February 15th, and everything went up in uh, smoke, I suppose. Um, so, okay, so not lowballing, finding a good property, and, and that change. Um, you know, we have uh, Jim Estrada here who's, who's going to talk to us about inspections in a little bit, but you talk about getting an inspection prior to making an offer. If you have the time to do it, so if it's a if it's a type of sort of property we can get in there early enough, uh, one great strategy for making yourself one of the most competitive offers, if not the most competitive offer, is to get the property inspected prior to making your offer. I never suggest that people uh, buy a property without having an inspection, but getting an inspection done prior to making the offer is a really great thing because there's two phases of negotiation in a, in a real estate contract. The first is when you're deciding on price and closing date, all of that other good stuff. The second comes after the inspection phase. Now you know what potential problems there are in the property. Sometimes people want to negotiate on price, negotiate on how much the seller's going to uh, fix, that sort of thing right off the bat. Um, getting a great guy like Jim in there to get it inspected prior to making your offer, now your seller knows that you're fully committed to that house. You're ready to buy it. As soon as they sign the paper, it's essentially sold. So I mean, those are good tips. They really are for people who are out buying houses. I mean, get get your pre approval. Be ready to move fast, which I think those kind of go hand in hand. You'll know your numbers. Don't go out lowballing, thinking this is mid two thousand eleven, mm-hmm. and understand what you're buying. Right? I mean, that's kind of when you get that inspection first. You're really understanding what you're making an offer on. You know everything about the house already. Right? That's the, that's the whole idea. Yeah, exactly. And then you don't have you know then you can go well. You don't know how much I'm pre approved for, but I know you got problems in that basement. There's rats. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, we're here with uh, Sean Perry with Windermere Real Estate North. Sean, uh, on the other side of the coin, before we go to break, let's talk a little bit about what's important to sellers, for sellers, especially you know in this market. For sellers, when you put in the house in the market, I think the most important thing is to look to look at the at your property through what I call buyer's eyes. So that's a lot different than the emotional side of you that really loves your property. So you're looking like at your property. Where you raised your kids and yes, the little and the, the little marks on the, the marks on the wall on the wall for how tall they are. <laughs> you mean if people don't care about how tall my kid is? That no, believe it or not, nobody else cares about your kids except for you and your family. Yeah, oh, yeah it's unbelievable. That is not very nice, yeah. Sean. I know, I know. That's the truth, though. <laughs> Man, I, they, they like my kid. They like my kid. And by the way, I think we're going to measure him tonight in a door jam. I'm, you know, we're, I, that's a good idea. I'm glad I thought of it. It actually adds about fifteen thousand dollars to the sale or to the price of your house. Done. Yeah, the little check marks on the door. Yeah, yeah it's a good thing. So, Sean, let's talk. Okay, so looking through the buyer's eyes, which means kind of taking that emotional side out of it from, you know, how you grew up there, lived there, or whatnot. Uh. Yeah, so because there's lots of buyers out there, um, we got to remember that these buyers out there are very cautious and very savvy. They understand what's happened in the market. They're understanding. They're cautious of, of, of what happened a few years ago in the market. They want to make sure they buy their property right. So you got to make sure that your house is, is the best in four areas. I, I say in condition, in features, in location, and then that price. Those are the four top areas you really got to look at how your house compares to the rest that are on the market around your area. And it seems that even though people are out in droves buying houses that aren't on the market, which you would think would lower people's standards, from what I understand, buyers are still fairly picky about what they're going to put an offer on, which is why the, only the good houses are going quickly. Why the good houses go quickly. That's exactly right. Yeah, they, they love all the upgrades they, and they, you know, uh, all the good stuff that, that gets a house sold and gets a house attention. Um, but again, they're very savvy as far as how much they're willing to pay for all of that. Yeah. Well, Sean, uh, we do have to go to break, but uh, just to hit on a couple of your last points, um, any other quick notes to, for sellers? Well, just wanted to talk about the sellers making sure that they uh, professional pictures. I know a, a lot of marketing that we do nowadays is online. Remember that people go online, they can look at 15, 20 pictures of your house, and they're virtually touring that house. So professional photography is an absolute must. And then talking to your real estate agent about what else is on the market out there, how your house is going to compare to those, and then pricing what I call not competitively but pricing it compellingly, making sure that you get a buyer and making sure that it's a compelling enough price to attract a lot of attention. Well, I, I, I mean, attention is kind of that front end, isn't it? Absolutely. And yes. then make the pictures. It's almost like a, it's, it's like a little path you lead buyers on. Yes. Pretty yes. pictures, well-priced. 
I don't know, other stuff that you can tell me about. That's exactly right. You know, you lead them down that path, and then uh, hopefully you get to sell it, and hopefully they like kids because hopefully you might like have kids. measured them in the door jam. Sean, thanks so much for joining us again. Sean Perry, Realtor with the Windermere Real Estate North. Thanks, man. What? Yeah, you're welcome. Well, thanks for joining us. When we come back, one of our favorites, Jim Estrada, is going to join us. Jim's actually going to let us know if he thinks it's a good idea to pre-inspect a home or how often he's doing that, as well as let you know what summer problems are might be coming your way, like pests. We have a wasp's nest. Maybe I'll tell, tell you more about that. We'll be right back after this break. You're listening to Brush and Almond. 